Hence, to achieve this purpose, they were taught different methods of packaging. Today, these people are in the process of procuring mechanized means for packaging their products along with equipments for drying and grinding the raw materials. The group has also been able to set up a small working center in a shopping complex in Dediapada. It is currently being managed by three members under the supervision of a local coordinator. The concept of saving money for financial crisis was introduced amongst the tribals. With the help of a field visit to a local bank, the banking structures were explained. It was also decided that each group member would save one rupee a day, hence amounting to 30 rupees a month. This money was collected at the center and was deposited in a common bank account. The accumulated money was used to give loans to the members at nominal interest rates. These loans offered to the members were based on liberal and flexible terms. Installments were set according to the capacity of the member to repay. The money saved in the common bank account also acted as a financial security in times of crisis. Each member was given a passbook in which they kept record of the money they deposit every month. They also began to record the buying and selling of products, hence making it easy for them to track their progress and manage financial dealings. All these efforts of the group were noticed by many other organizations. The members have started getting invitations to many events like food fairs, government-funded exhibitions and local festivals. They participated in the traditional food festival called Visrati Vangi Melo or the Forgotten Cuisine Exhibition held at the prestigious Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. The group was awarded a special prize for its innovative food product at this festival. The Adi Aushadi, that is the traditional herb group, displayed their traditional food called manda, which are pancakes made from rice flour. The tribals used traditional methods of preparing the food with their consumers being an eyewitness to this process. Mandas were cooked and steamed in kakra leaves and served fresh to the visitors with a vegetable preparation. These events added a lot of confidence among the participating members and it also led to a good income generation. The group has also represented the District Rural Development Agency that is DRDA at fairs in Jamnagar, Dangs and Ahmedabad. Today, they have successfully widened their range of market-friendly products. These products help in curbing many common diseases like acidity, arthritis, diabetes, kidney stone, general sickness, jaundice, cold, cough and loose motions. The group has also experimented with various products like hair oil, pain and massage ointments, tea powder and chiavan prash, and Indian nutrition mix. All these products have been launched in Ahmedabad and consumers have shown avid interest in them. Local plant products like khati bindi jam, juices and drink concentrates have also been successfully launched. The groups have started a small nursery for multiplying medicinal plants. The increasing interest in medicinal plants and their market value has encouraged the group to increase the production of these plants. For the continuous progress of the group, 10 selected members were trained as master trainers for training new members. These 10 trainers not only train people from their community, but also encourage other communities and help them set up similar self-reliant units. Their progress is currently being documented into a film to attract people to follow their successful work structures. Soon, a web page will also be set up to increase the accessibility of the group's business. The group aims to empower the tribals by equipping them with the necessary skills so as to turn them from traditional tribal healers to self-reliant entrepreneurs. It is believed that this group will become the nucleus of a network which will span across the nation, creating a complementary source of income for these Adivasis. The entire endeavor will contribute to the preservation of the biodiversity of Dediapara forest, 
providing the people an income generating activity